Hey guys, in this video I will show you a setup I made to scatter rocks around rocks using masks. To start off, I have imported geometry which I previously made with the default sphere being deformed with a mountain soap and added UVs. If you would like to add different variations with scattering, make sure to add a name node which will create a name attribute that will be used later in the video. In my case, I named midstones as midstone 1, 2, 3 and so on. Same with other stones. I also embedded all FBX stone files into HDA and referenced them in the file node with opdev operator which will get files from the HDA. To embed files, go to Properties, Extra Files and add your files. Just make sure that the file size is not huge as it cause slowdowns for the HDA. In my case, the total file size for all of the stones was only 300 kilobytes. To add the mask, I used a combination of group and mask by feature nodes. A group node was used to exclude adding a mask inside the object which will be referenced in the mask by feature node. To create actual first mask around the main stone, I first converted the stone into convex hole shape and plugged it into the second input of the group node. Then I checked the base group and check keep by bounding region checkbox. And uh, make sure to change the bounding type to bounding convex hole option and also don't forget to invert it. Then I copied the relative reference of the group name into the group parameter inside of mask by feature node, so it wouldn't add, add a mask inside of the stone. I also remapped combined mask values to get something I was looking for. After that, this mask goes into the scatter align node to scatter points based on density attribute, which in this case is called mask. I also copied the relative parameter path. I usually do it so I can forget if I typed the parameter name correctly or not, since it will be dynamically updated. Then I changed the point count method to number of points and used 5 points to scatter 5 stones. Then we can reference stone variations using object merge. And uh, before copying stones, if you want to add variations to stones when scattering, you can use attribute from pieces node and change mode to random as well as to change weight method to weights. After that, you can click the out of field pieces button, which will load all of the name attributes variations of the stones, which was created earlier. And now you can control the weight variation of each stone. The lower the value, the less of a particular stone will appear. Finally, to copy those stones, add a copy to points node plug stones geometry into the first input and output from attribute from pieces into the second input, which is a target points in this case. Also, transform node was used to control the scale of the stones. After that, I have added a now node, which uh, was referenced downstream to merge all of the stones together. Then I did a cleanup by removing the group that was created before, as well as the mask attribute for the next masking. And finally, merging mid stones with the main stone. For scattering small stones, I need to merge the grid plane with the main stone as well as the mid stones, because this is where the next points will be scattered. To create a group mask, I used a different approach here. I used a ISO offset node with the output type set to SDF volume. This option works much better than the fog volume by providing more accurate results for the mask. As you also might see, I used a compile block as well as a for each block nodes. This uh, first of all is used to create a volume for each individual stone and secondly to speed up the process with a compile block by allowing to use a multi-threading to spread the process to all available CPU cores. Then again, a group node, but instead of using convex hole bounding type, change it to bounding volume, because input type will be a SDF volume, and to make sure to invert it. Next is a mask by feature node, which uses just created group. You can also play around with the blurring to get something that you are after. And don't forget to remap mask values. The scattering process is exactly the same as before, except for 
Now I have different names inside of the attribute from pieces now. Then the same cleanup process of merging main stone with the mid and small stones together to get the final mask. To scatter tiny stones, I use the same approach by merging the grid, creating SDF volume with ISO offset node that wrapped into for each and compile block, and the group node has the same parameters as before. In this case, uh, mask by feature node has more blurriness applied. You just need to play around with values that will work for your needs. One thing I did differently here is by adding attribute adjust float node to break up the noise mask by using a random noise option. To add it, set the operation type to subtract and type to noise and remap it to something that looks good to you. Then again, the same scattering process as well as the cleanup process. To bring everything together, I used an object merge nodes, then used the attribute create, which is an Unreal Material node, same for on Unity, and exposed HDA level string parameter, where actual material instance will be drag and dropped inside of Unreal Engine, which in this case is a substance designer graph. And here is the final result in Unreal. Thank you so much for your interest, I hope you found it valuable, and if it was valuable, Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend, source files available at my Patreon. See you on the next project very soon. Take care, wish you a lot of joy.